I'm Martin Brunitsky, and I'm the interior designer of the Beekman Hotel in New York that has been shortlisted for two head awards. The Beekman Hotel is located in the Financial District in New York City. The building was originally built as a law offices in 1881, and it was an incredibly beautiful building. So the design team's approach from the beginning was to respect that. It sort of was like a conversation that we had with the building throughout the project. The great feature of the Beekman Hotel is of course its central atrium, which is original and has a beautiful skylight at the top. But the challenge of course is sort of how do we make this feel cozy, especially for the lobby lounge at the base of it. And it was all done through colour and lighting. We wanted something that was warm and sort of close to space in a little bit. So when you look at the green that's on the ground floor, it's darker than the greens that actually are on the different atrium floors. And we were sort of playing with that idea. The furniture and the fabrics of the atrium bar is an eclectic mix of different pieces from the 1940s to the 1970s. The whole idea of that lobby is that it's very residential. It should look sort of almost natural in a sense, just sort of come together as with the general idea of the furniture and fabrics of this hotel is that it has evolved over time and been replaced and things have been added to it. The restaurant is run by Tom Clicchio. It's his restaurant called Fowlers and Wells. The restaurant is set up like a dining room. It has a central waiter station to create activity in the center of the room. The furniture as well is sort of quite simple. It's not as eclectic as the, the lounge because it's more of a dining room and we wanted a little bit more of a simpler approach to it. I think the most important thing is that they feel comfortable. And comfortability is both in ergonomically when you sit in a chair, but secondly as well is all the other four senses, you know, visual, what you hear, what you can touch. So I wanted it to be a very sort of immersive experience because it is a very moody place.